Welcome back to the weekend show here at Snowbird, the 40th anniversary of Snowbird, and we're going to call this the New Year's edition of the weekend show. I'm with Maggie Loring from Ski School, and first of all, go ahead, give us your title, Maggie. I'm the Snowbird Mountain School Director. Yeah, see, we talked about this because I knew I might miss that, so I, I let you go ahead and do it. we have skiers and snowboarders. We do. We or do. you do. We do. You yes, do. We, do. we all do. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful day here at Snowbird. We're here actually because you're going to kind of give us a little lesson, a little run through on um, deep powder skiing, sure. which unfortunately right now we don't have two feet of fresh, but there's a lot of things I know that you can do, you know, on regular hard pack that can... Um, translate to deep powder? Actually, it's really good time to work on skills. We, you get a lot of feedback from the snow when it's hard like this, and so you can actually make adjustments and changes. And if you know what you want to experience when you're in the powder, you can go search for it on the on the hard snow and practice your skills, and that just makes it a lot better when we do get snow. Well, beautiful. Now, you've been here at ski school for how long? Uh, 10 years. It's my 10th season. 10 years originally from? Originally from Maine. Oh, look at that. It's all right. We're getting both corners. I'm San Diego. You're Maine. So we've, we're working corners, and we're meeting right here in Utah. And you're gonna about to give us, we're going to head up on the mountain. You're going to give me a few tips, pointers. What do you like to call sure. them? Um, tips. That works. <laughs> so tips with me and Maggie coming right up. All right, Maggie, we just did a bunch of short terms on a long-term path. And um, we're actually going at a pretty high rate of speed, too. Yes, we were. And the reason for doing that and training for powder is to get you more active with both feet. So you're used to guiding both skis and you can't hang out on one any too long. So, and what tends to happen is people will get on that one ski and in powder, the other ski is going to take off on them. The, so the other thing that that uh, drill will do for you is really work on your upper body and keeping your arms ahead of you and because gotcha. you keep planting your poles you keep using your poles so they can't get lost behind you. No and you kind of force almost to keep your body facing downhill as well too. Right and facing more the direction you're going Correct. and so why we use the whole slope and did short turns on a long term path is to get you so you're more active with your feet but also it naturally lines your body up where, so that it helps you. You know and that was actually a lot of fun that we had to have that all to ourselves. I was a little too close to you, I think, on the first one because you um, were roostering me. But spraying you. <laughs> That's not normally what I would do with my students. But anyway, it's fun though. It's a really fun drill, but it also teaches you a lot. Okay, so where are we going next? So next, what we're gonna do is vary up our turn shape a little bit. And it's actually really good on a, on a day like this with this wide open groomer to kind of not ski the same path all the time, not do the same size shape of turn. People get in a rut and it gets boring. So I'm, we're gonna go change it up and you're gonna change your turn shape a bunch behind me and have some fun. Okay, let's do it. We tightened up a little bit there, Maggie. Yeah, we did. We we were trying to get you used to changing uh, at a moment's notice and kind of looking ahead as well. In deep powder, you want to be able to look further down the hill. So by having to match my turns, it was teaching you to look further ahead and be ready for anything, but also still working on using both skis. Yeah, you know, we kind of talked about that first, when we first started off about the fact that you don't see your skis in the powder, you shouldn't be looking down there anyways. Exactly right. <laughs> if you're looking down, you're going over on your head for there sure. You go. Okay, um, obviously there's plenty of opportunities to catch huge powder days here at Snowbird. Um, I know we didn't talk much about equipment, but I'm guessing a lot of, you know, the equipment makes a big difference when you're skiing from hard pack groomers to two foot, three foot bottomless powder. Absolutely, and we actually have lots of um, opportunity for people who come and um, if you don't, the airlines don't like you to carry a bunch of skis now, so we actually have great skis that you can change into on a moment's notice. We have three locations at Snowbird. Cliff Sports, um, which is up in the, in the Cliff Lodge. On the Plaza Deck, we have um, Snowbird Sports, and then down in Gad Valley at Creekside Lodge, we have Creekside Sports, and they all carry demos, and they all have powder skis, but also also, on, if you show up with your powder skis and it's pretty firm snow and you want to get a feel for carving or get a, a better feel with your ski or learn a little bit more to get some feedback from the snow, you can run some skis with a little narrower waist and you'll have a lot more fun out there. On oh, the and I've always, uh, my dad always said the right tool for the right job. Absolutely. It's really important. And also, you know, you're here on vacation. You spend a lot of money to come out here. You might as well spend a couple more bucks and make sure you have a blast every run. And not only that, check in with Maggie or any of the fine instructors here at Snowbird. If they want any information on lessons, they just go right to the website? 
Yes, right to the website, or you can just uh, call up our office at uh, 801-947-8222, and we'll hook you up for sure. All right. That's Maggie Loring of Ski School and Powder Tip for the day. Stick with us. More from the weekend show here at Snowbird. How many years is this? 40. 40. Go figure. 40th anniversary here at Snowbird. Hanging out at Snowbird Sports here with Emily Munch, and we're talking about equipment, about skis in particular. What do you got in front of you? Right, this is the Dina Star Legend Pro Rider 115. It's our recommended ski for skiing powder at Snowbird. Um, you'll notice the dimensions are 127 at the tip, 115 at the waist, and 137 down at the tail. And what's unique about this ski, it's pretty soft in the tip and pretty stiff in the tail, so when you want to open up your big turns right in the powder fields, you're, it's ready to ready to let you charge. You know, we were talking about, you know, earlier with Maggie about having the right equipment for the right job. This is for a big powder day. This is a big powder day ski, and uh, yeah, perfect for the powder hounds out there. Perfect for the powder hounds, and I'm guessing there's something for everybody here, I mean, for any kind of conditions as well. Absolutely, we've got demo skis for all sorts of conditions on the mountain. Yep, and you know, we're right off the um, tram deck. Yes. Yeah, so you got a little bit of ski, a different ski for whatever you need to do, and obviously you can demo skis. Demo them, buy them. Buy them. <laughs> okay, boots, poles, all sorts of accessories as well. Right, it's all here at Snowbird Sports. Snowbird Sports, so you should come on in, check it out, do what, get whatever you need for the day. That's right. All right, stay tuned. All right, Maggie, so Snowbird known for deep powder. Okay, and you get visitors here from like all over the world, actually, you know, the country, but not everybody used to skiing at Deep Powder. So, you know, give me, take us top to bottom on this. Well, what, the biggest issue that most people have is they're not used to feeling their skis in the snow without feeling a bottom. So what happens is they get stuck on one ski or the other, and the one they're not on gets pulled away. If you can imagine it kind of like uh, going through water, if you're underwater and your skis are going through the water, if you're not guiding both skis, one of them is going to get pulled back. So what we try to do is coach people to have an awareness of both of their feet and work both skis evenly and that will keep them moving through the snow instead of kind of striving for the bottom. And now as you say too, how do you get over the fact, like I, all I know is when I first started skiing powder, I mean you, you, you don't see your skis, you know, you don't see your feet sometimes and sometimes you get a little lost like where's all my stuff at? Exactly and that's what, ha and then your skis kind of dive down into it and then you do the front flip, end over, your Which I've, your done, which I've right done before in. too. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of load up the tip of the ski too much. So what we want to try to do is get people more used to feeling their whole ski and also uh, planning ahead, looking ahead. If you're looking down at your feet, you're going to go towards the tip of the ski and that's not good, especially in powder. So you're going to change up how you approach it, your tactics on the hill. You're maybe going to do a little wider turn. You're not going to do as many turns. And you're also going to try to have a really soft touch because you don't want to punch through so much. So you want to be even, you want to guide the ski really softly, and it takes a little bit of finesse and, instead of strength. Finesse over strength, I like that. Yeah, that's what makes it fun like surfing. Because then once you get the handle of that and you get to feeling both skis and looking out where you're going, it's easier, it's like floating. It's really amazing. It's floating, it's a beautiful thing. And the funniest thing too is if you do wreck, all you do is tumble in a big pile of puff of snow. That's true, but you can't laugh too hard, which I have done because you'll choke on it. <laughs> okay, so keep your mouth closed. That's right, keep your which, mouth closed. Which is something I've never been able to do. Uh, true, <laughs> you have to be really careful because usually when I'm skiing powder, I'm giggling the whole entire way. Oh, that's fantastic stuff from Maggie Loring, and you're going to be hanging out with us all day for a little bit at least anyways, correct? Sure. Yes, I am. All right, stay tuned. Much more from Snowbird on the weekend show.